guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here and you just clicked on this video then hello, my name's Andini but you can call me Andy for short. I'm primarily a fashion blogger but as a lot of you guys know I have a seriously geeky side as well. I'm very into my fandoms, films, TV shows, basically I'm just a huge fan girl. So today I thought I'd uh, show you guys my Funko Pop collection that you always see in the background here. And um, I actually got this idea from a very lovely Instagram follower who messaged me asking to show you my collection and I don't know how I never thought to do this video because I was running out of um, video ideas too so it came at exactly the right time and I thought that's a great idea so thank you if you suggested this. Um, yeah, I think a lot of you guys see this in the background if I'm like um, insta story. I was going to say Snapchat but who uses Snapchat nowadays? Um, and I'm going to show you guys the full collection here. Um, I think you can tell a lot by a person's Funko Pop collection actually, so I don't think I have like a massive collection, but I have accumulated quite a few in, I'd say I've been collecting these for like four to five years now. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I'll zoom you guys closer so you can see and I'll talk you guys through every single Funko Pop that I have. Oh, bearing in mind, I also, um, there's a couple of my housemates Funko Pops as well because obviously we share this place together, so... Um, I might not know what they are, but I'll talk you guys through it anyway. Let's go. We're going to start with this shelf and move in a vaguely clockwise direction. So on this shelf are my Stranger Things Pops. It's one of my favourite TV shows, but I only have the kids. I think if I start collecting all of them, we'd be here forever and I'd have no room. So the first pop we have here is Eleven in her hospital gown. And then we have Eleven um, when she was doing the underwater test in the lab with her helmet thing. I don't think it's called a helmet, but you know... I don't know the technical term. And then here we have Eleven with the blonde wig, season 1 Eleven. And then we have OG Eleven. And then here we have OG Mike Wheeler, next to Eleven of course. And then Dustin. I really want the Dustin with the dark pop, it's so cute, but I haven't gotten around to getting that one. And then we have Caleb, Will, and then upside down Will. Moving to the back, we have the Ghostbusters Will, Ghostbusters Dustin, the Ghostbusters Mike, and then Season 2 Eleven, and Ghostbusters Caleb. Moving on to the next shelf, we have most of my Rogue One collection, which contains the most pops out of any particular category, and it kind of overflows onto the next shelf here. Um, it's to be expected, probably, seeing as Rogue One is one of my favourite films. I honestly get so much for being a Rogue One fan and not really a Star Wars fan, but what can you do? You know, that's just what I like, and you can't really change that. So, starting here, we have Jin Erso when she was on Edu with the Rebellion pilot um, poncho and then her hat and helmet. And then we have Jin in her Imperial Disguise um, when she was on Scarif. And then we have Jin with her scarf up. And then this is the original Jin. Um, I actually can't remember which one was the OG Cassian. I think it was the one, this one actually, with the um, Parker. Which is kind of strange because I think he spent most of the movie with the brown jacket. But anyway, um, yeah, so this one with the brown jacket was um, another version of Cassia. Then this one was the original one. And then next to him, of course, we have K2SO. And then we have Bodhi, one of my favorite Rogue One characters. And Chirrut. Okay, I guess we should go to the next shelf then. And then, of course, here we have Baze. I'm sorry, I had to separate you and cheer it, but obviously no space. And then we have young Jin Erso with her Stormtrooper toy. This one's so cute. We have Galen Erso. We have Orson Krennic and his awesome cape. We have Rogue One Darth Vader. Um, okay, so this now we're moving on to our game, my Game of Thrones pops. Um, we have Peter Baelish, Littlefinger. Sansa Stark. This is like the Elaine version of Sansa, Dark Sansa. Well, they've only made one Sansa Stark pop and it's not even the original redhead, which is, I'm sure a lot of people are annoyed about that. So Funko Pop, please change this immediately. We want a redhead Sansa. She is on the Iron Throne pop. Next to her is her sister Arya. And then we have Jamie Lannister. I think this is season two when he had his hair cut and he's got the golden hand already. Behind him we have the season one Jamie Lannister. A weird gap. Um, this is Gude Tama, the lazy egg, one of my favorite Sanrio characters. Um, I totally relate to him. 
Um, this one is so cute. Another good Etama one. Then we have another Mendo character. This is from Ready Player One. Um, what is his name again? Nolan Sorrento. Look at that Michael Jackson curl. And then this is a Sapien, a little collection of Doug Jones characters. And then this is actually a custom pop that I made. Um, I made, well, I painted over and I did stick some clay onto it. And basically I made it with a um, creature from the Black Lagoon pop. And then I painted over it and then I stuck the fins and stuff. And this is meant to be um, the amphibian man from Shape of Water. So I don't know if I've done it justice, but I just really wanted an amphibian man pop. And then they didn't announce that they were going to make the pops for ages until I, after I made this. But they are coming out with a Shape of Water line. Moving on, we have some Black Panther pops. So Shuri, who is probably my favorite character. I just love her so much. And then we have Killmonger, of course, because the villains, I just love all manner of villains. And then we have Killmonger with his museum mask. And then we have Killmonger's golden jaguar. And this one's actually glow in the dark. And then on the same theme as Marvel, we have the original Loki with the helmet. And then we have Ragnarok Loki. Hela who honestly takes up the most space. She's standing on the side just because her awesome, is that even a hair or helmet? You know what I mean. And then we have Alicia Vikander's Lara Croft here. And then, oh, this is also Jyn Erso, but she didn't fit with the rest of the Rogue One ones. This, uh, she's in her Imperial disguise again, but with her helmet up. Now this shelf is a bit of random mishmash, but we have a lot of Attack on Titan pops. My favorite anime, um, please focus. Um, actually, it's probably the only anime I watch, but um, this is Sasha with her potato. Also very relatable because she's always hungry. Um, Armin, who is my favorite Attack on Titan character. Mikasa. Eren. Levi. And can I just say, I love um, how they've designed his eyes because I feel like it's such a Funko Pop thing to do with the round eyes, right? But this just perfectly captures Levi's character, basically. Um, here we have Cleaning Levi, and then one of the huge pops here is the Colossal Titan. So he is probably almost twice as big as the rest of the other pops. And behind him is also a mega-sized pop, Ludo from Labyrinth. And then we have Sarah, the little worm. I don't think he has a name, does he? We have Jareth. I think there's a couple of versions of Jareth. This is the original one. And then we have Miss Peregrine from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I love Eva Green, so I did have to get this one. She came with the little owl pop as well. And then here we have Alex from Clockwork Orange. And then 12, who's my favorite doctor. And then 12 with the guitar and Sunnies. And then up here, which is just the gap between the shelves actually, we've got BB-8. And then BB-8's owner, Poe Dameron. And these are the two from The Force Awakens, so they're the first ones. And then these two pops from Suicide Squad are actually Winkies. I think she got them on sale, so she just decided to get them. I can't remember the name of this guy, if you guys remember. I can't remember, sorry. This one's Captain Boomerang, though, I do know that. Okay, now we have a couple of Joker ones from Suicide Squad. So this Joker, when he was still in Arkham, and then this one with the dinner suit when he rescued Harley. And then this is the club joker. Um, and then this one with the wrestling outfit. We've got Dr. Harley and Quinzel here. And then Harley when she was in prison. We've got the club outfit Harley. Focus. And then the original Harley from Suicide Squad, obviously. Um, okay, Fantastic Beast Pop, which is really, really strange because I have all these Fantastic Beast Pops, but no Newt Scamander. Um, it's because I'm looking for the Newt not with the egg, but I can't find him in my local um, shops yet, so, and I can't be bothered ordering online. So anyway, enough of the rambling, I don't have Newt. So here we have Jacob Kowalski, and then we have Queenie right next to him, of course, and Tina who is searching for Newt, which I don't have at the moment. And then we have the Niffler. I think there are a couple of Niffler um, versions. This one's the ones with the coins. Um, we have uh, Wonder Woman Diana when she was in her Amazon outfit. And then uh, Wonder Woman just 
original Wonder Woman. Well, the Gal Gadot version, obviously, not um, the old version. And then we have Aquaman from Justice League. And then we have um, Ezra's Flash, but this is the one without the mask. And then moving on here, we have Thomas Sharp from Crimson Peak, another Tom Hiddleston character. Um, and then we have Edith, uh, Edith Cushing, her name is, right? Yep, from Crimson Peak as well. And then back onto the strong female theme, we have Dolores from Westworld from season one. Um, I really want the other Dolores pops as well. And then we have the Powerpuff Girls pop. So this is Buttercup. No, is that Buttercup? Why do I have a, uh, yes, it is Buttercup. I had a mental blank there, of course. Buttercup is probably my favorite because she's angry all the time. And then um, Bubbles and Blossom. These ones are so cute. I love them. Um, another female superhero, Sailor Neptune, who is my favorite Sailor Soldier. I really want to collect all the Sailor Moon Pops, actually, but that's probably not a good idea. Um, this is Sadness from Inside Out, and it's really funny because <laughs> I love that film, and uh, Sadness is so cute, but this kind of reminds me of my mum, actually, which is probably why I bought it, because she always loves wearing these types of, like, chunky jumpers, and she's got the glasses, and her hair is kind of like this, but the only difference is my mum's happy all the time, so... There's that, and then here we have Ezio from Assassin's Creed, and then Callum, Michael Fassbender from Assassin's Creed. This is like the Michael Fassbender section. This is um, David from Alien, and then Magneto. Okay, we're going up here now. Okay, these two pops are Emily's pops, and they are from The Witcher. Um, I don't know their name, sorry, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty popular pops and I'll list them down below. This is Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter and this one was actually a gift from one of my friends. And um, <laughs> he's so cute. can't believe they managed to make Voldemort cute. Like, look at that. And then here we have Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. He has no face. And then... Here we move on to our Alice in Wonderland pops. This is the Cheshire Cat. And then Alice. This is Alice. Um, I think it's called, the pop's called Alice Kingsley. So it's Alice in one of her other outfits um, when she's not in Wonderland. We have the Mad Hatter here. And the White Rabbit. And we have this character, I forgot his name, he's the timekeeper in the Through the Looking Glass Alice in Wonderland. He's the one that Bo the Borat guy, Sasha Baron Cohen, oh god this is going well, he plays. But basically I only got him because he came in a two pack with the Alice Kingsley one. And I really wanted Alice Kingsley so yeah, now we have him too, I guess he completes the collection. And then, is this the final pop? Oh this is my final pop actually, okay. Um, this is Diana Prince from Wonder Woman again but when she was in disguise. So that was my entire Funko Pop collection at the moment. Of course, I'm going to keep adding to it. There's already a couple on my wish list already, including the It Pops. Um, there's a new Killmonger Pop, I think, coming out in August or September, as well as the Shape of Water Pops. Oh my god, I've been waiting for those forever. I can't wait for them to get released. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And let me know if you have any of the same pops as me, because I'd love to know. Just leave a comment in the comment section down below. And hit subscribe if you're new, so I can see you guys in my next video. Bye! Patiently. I don't know if that's coming out of <laughs> 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 Exactly what I said. This is no longer pop because that one won't stay put. <laughs>